Well, hello everyone. So today I'm going to unbox the November um, Art Atelier Ephemera uh, subscription subscription box. So I've gone ahead and taken it out of the um, packaging as far as like the mailing packaging because I don't need to show my address. So let's get started. So let's see here. Let's snip these off. Okay. And I always save these anyways, but I usually just snip off all of the excess because I really like keeping it inside um, the box when I store it away. So let's see what we got here. All right. So the first item I'm, uh, that I'm pulling out is um, one of the stamps. It is... This is a nice long one. I do like the stamps that she always selects every month. Um, so here we go. And it's a rubber stamp, as you can see. Really, really nice. Okay. Next one is the washi set for the month. Okay. And there's two. There is this big one right here. Okay. And then you've got this one here with the alphabet. Okay. Um, we've got the stamp set for the month. And this one is called Medicinal Herbs. As you can see, it's got a scale and some um, botanical illustrations and some script. Okay. Next one is one of the smaller ephemera packs. And this time they're colored. Let me get them on closer. There we go. So. Oh, beautiful. And it's on cardstock. Pretty thick cardstock. I really like this. Okay. Then we've got another of the bigger ephemera packs. Just move this out of the way first because it's a lot. Okay. So there's a lot of tags and labels in here from what I can see already. Oops. Yep. I've got some vellum pieces. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in. There we go. And focus. Okay. Some more um, cardstock. These are labels right here. Okay. Oh, I love this one right here. Hold on. Let me make sure it's in focus. There we go. Um, these look like they're stickers. More. These look like they're two of the same kind. Okay. Some more labels. On a, it's not cardstock, it's just a thinner paper. All right. We've got um, this little pad. Okay. And here is the, I call it like a book plate of some sort, but it's the calendar for December. So it's always one month ahead. And then you got this nice tag here. There we go. Um, this looks like an envelope. Great for the junk journal. Okay. 
and we've got some pieces here also good for the junk journal okay some much bigger pieces here some different um, looks like they're handmade paper and then some like collage type of paper this time they're blue okay the color theme that is um, more collage type of paper this uh, vellum more vellum pieces turn these over and a bunch of like random um, labels and yeah mostly labels okay so I'll put that one there okay and then here's another big pack So these are clear pieces. Um, I need a, something in color to show it. Okay, so here we go. As you can see. And then this one, the many uses of herbs. Um, got some nice botanical pieces here I think, it's that way. I think these are stickers also yeah A leaf uh, more labels yeah some ticket stubs more stickers um, I think this is also a sticker You've got some like large, very large stamps and they're stickers. Okay. And I've got some pages. Another, well, it's not a sticker. Yeah, more pages on herbs. And here we go. Just more um, labels and various papers. And some, um, what do you call this? Clear pieces that you can, I don't know if they're stickers, sorry. I wasn't looking to see my placing. Um, I'm not sure if they're stickers, but very nice. Would look really good against you know, red or black paper, okay. on top and then the last piece is right here these are more pages I think over the Thanksgiving holiday I'm going to work on some um, junk journal pages and I'm going to use some stuff from the various months that I've purchased from our atelier because I just I mean I've had I've been buying boxes from her for like the last couple months, but I just haven't had the time really to just sit down and just start um, working on my junk journal. I've been doing a COVID um, journal for this year since, you know, this is a historical event in a sense. So, um, but I really want to start working on a junk journal, a proper junk journal. So, yeah. And if I do, um, get some pages done. I'm, I don't know. I might do a flip through or I might just post the pages on my Instagram and you can find the link in the description for my Instagram account. Okay. So that's all of what was in the November box. Um, I'm definitely going to purchase the December box. Maybe at the beginning of the year, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and just purchase three months in advance. So then that way I don't have to worry about, did I go ahead and get <laughs> the next month's uh, box before um, the deadline? So, because it seems like she's been pretty consistent in um, 
what she puts out and I've been liking it pretty much every month. So might as well go ahead and just do three months in advance because you do save a little bit more um, when you purchase it that way. I'm, I'm probably going to save maybe, I don't know, maybe $10. Who knows? Um, if I do it that way. I mean, you can purchase up to six months. I wish I could. Um, but no, I'll just go ahead and just stick with the three months for now. So yeah. Um, the subscription box, like I said, is from R Atelier. And um, you can find her on Facebook. It's r.artelier. Um, and she's also an Instagram and she's, uh, the owner's name is Rosie and she's really great in terms of always posting previews of the upcoming month's box. So that way you know what you're getting, um, versus, you know, a blind box and then you end up like not liking half or even more than half of what you get, you know? Um, that's why I really like purchasing from her because I want to know what I'm getting in terms of, um you know, I'm spending this much money. It doesn't matter if, I mean, it doesn't really, it's not a big deal if I'm purchasing something that's less than $10 and it's a, it's a blind box, but you know, you're basically spending $30 for a blind box coming all the way from China and you're waiting for it. I mean, this, this time it took 20 days for me to get it. Um, I can't remember exactly when she shipped it, but you know, still we're in the pandemic. So, I mean, I'm not expecting to get this stuff like right away. Last month's took um, almost a month, but I'm just glad that I, I was able to get it, period. Um, and not, you know, it not getting lost in the mail or hung up somewhere. So, okay. Well, I hope everybody's had a good week. All right. Um, I'll be posting another haul video in a couple of days. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.